Hello everybody. Today we are working on a really fun project. This is a giant ATX 770. I've been trying to find a, this frame in my size for at least since 2019. And just earlier this year, I got this one. Uh, it came from Canada. It was, a, it was really cool because it actually started life in New Hampshire and then it ended up in Vancouver and now it's here in Minnesota. So we're gonna build this up. Um, I got some parts that I'm gonna use and uh, it's just gonna, you know, I'm thinking black LX would look cool on this. So we're gonna do black LX brakes, crank, rear derailleur, shifters, we'll do thumb shifters because those are always my favorite. Um, I have a nice, well, here, I'll just show you. We're going to use this little short quill stem with the roller. I think I was actually going to use this on the, the Kirk and the didn't, so we're going to use this. And then I have this riser profile bar with the little crossbar, which is cool. Um, so I'm going to have to take the crossbar off. Well, to undo one side of it to slide on the quill stem and then we'll clamp it back on. Um, yeah, and then I have these wheels. These actually wheels actually came off. I had another one of these, but it was too small for me. So these wheels came off that one. They are um, Dior DX um, with Richie Vantage hubs. We're gonna take those reflectors off, take the pie plate off. We'll put that on here. Then we'll do the black drive train and uh, get this thing ready to, and I'm gonna keep these like streety tires on because this is just gonna be a bomb around, loose line bike, round town bike. And um, yeah, so let's get started. I already started wiping it down. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down and then we'll start throwing parts on it. I figure we'll start by putting the wheels on just to make sure that they look the way I want. They were, like I said, they were on the exact same bike, just smaller frame. So I like how they look down there, which is why I took them off and kept them for this project. The one part that I don't have on hand, is a nice black Dior legs crank set. So we're gonna try to get it all put together, except for that. Oh yeah, it's gonna look good. look good on there and these are you know one nines It'll be perfect for just ripping around so next we can get this stem on so while we're over here we're just going to take this apart so that we can get ready to put the bar on too and as i mentioned we're just going to have to take half of this um, brace off so that we can get the um, quill stem on. So it just comes off like that. And if we loosen this side, the smidgen, we can just bend that out of the way. Before we put the stem on, the bike already has a canty stop up here. So we're gonna take that off and replace it with a spacer. And then we'll put the stem in so that we can use the roller. Half the reason I put the wheels on is having a wheel on makes it a lot easier to get tight threaded headsets off because you have something to 
leverage on. So we got this off. We're going to go on the back and find some spacers. We're going to put this right there, though, so we don't lose it. So in here we have semi-organized, of course, now blocked by some bikes. Let's see, I didn't get them all labeled, did I? Threaded lock ring. Oh, here we go. Take some black spacers. Not sure how many we're gonna need, but we'll take a few. Take that off. I think we need at least one more. I don't like that one because it's smaller in diameter. They're all going to be smaller in diameter than I have left. So we're going to go with the more black one. Oh, I don't know. We're going to need that one. I think we just need one. We'll find out. Okay, so we're just going to get this top nut put back on. One spacer was more than enough. Okay, so now grease her up and we'll take our handle bar. Threaded through. Now I'm gonna go get that other end of the clamp. Um, that comes back there. So there's two ends of this this bolt, a male end and a female end. Should we tighten up the side we loosened and then get this centered in the clamp I'll just we'll have to adjust everything once I put it on the ground but we'll just give it a light snug there we go handlebar is installed next We have some brake levers, some MP63s. We're gonna put those on, and I need to go grab some thumb shifters quick. Okay, so we have some Dior XT thummies that we're gonna put on with our brake levers. There we go. We'll just kind of snug those on for now. Okay, yeah, that's not how it's going to look, but. Okay, and then. Pulled up some brakes. These are some black LX brakes. Gonna look good on there. And we got bolts so you don't lose them. 
Uh, Painter's tape works good because it, it holds them, but then it's easy to get them out. Um, it's a good way to keep bolts with things. So I'm going to wipe these down quick and we will get these installed on the bike. So I have the LX brakes. We're going to get these slotted on. I just put everything in the middle hole as I'm building it and then if we have to adjust from there we can I'm liking how the black is going to look Good. Okay, we'll put the rears on quick. I still need to take the pie plate off this rear wheel. Can't, it can't be riding around with a pie plate. So now we need to measure the, I believe it's 31.8. We're gonna measure the frame here. Yep, 31.8. So we need a 31.8 Dior LX top pole front derailleur, top pole because we have the cable stopped right there. Everything comes across on the top tubes. So we need a top pole, 31.8, and then we need a rear derailleur. So let's go grab some black DRLX derailleurs. So we're at the derailleur stash. That one's pretty good other than that one big Ooh, there we go. That's the one. That one's in good condition. We'll nab that one. Now we need a front derailleur 31.8 top pull. There we go. 31.8 top pull, front derailleur. I need a bolt, but that's easy. We'll mount this rear derailleur on here. This one, eh, I don't think it is going to be long enough. Oh, it's going to have to find a longer bolt. I found a longer bolt. I'm just going to clamp this on here roughly where it's going to go. For now, we're going to sit back and take a look. I like how the black looks. Back brakes, I like how the can walls look. Let me see that pad needs some, needs some lava, but oop, I got grease everywhere. Okay, I need a saddle, Dior LX crank. I need to take the pie plate off. So let's do that next. Need to find grips, need to cable it. Let's try to find a saddle and remove the pie plate. And then we might be done for today because I don't have a crank. Well, it looks a ton better without a pie plate. So that mission is achieved. Now we just need to find a saddle. I think I might have like a WTB Volt, which I enjoy, which I find comfortable. So that's, let's go see if I have one of those to put on here. We have a lot of used. Saddles in our, there we go. 
Eh, not yellow though. Not green. I was hoping for just a black one. Nope. There we go. That's a pure V, I think, but those are pretty comfortable too. Yeah, the used parts room is overflowing at the moment. Okay, so it's been a few days. I still have not been able to track down a black DRLX crank set for the Giant. I've found one on eBay I like though, so I'm gonna order that one. Um, but we're gonna end the video here and we'll start, do another episode once I get the crank set in. But we've come pretty far. Um, so far, we have a nice black DRLX rear derailleur, a nice set of rims. These are Richie Vantage comps um, with some Dior. DX hubs, black Dior LX brakes, put on a WTB saddle that I like, um, Dior LX front derailleur. We're gonna do a cool, this stem we were gonna put on the Kirk, so we're gonna have the roller, which is gonna be great. Um, riser profile bar, just the good old Dior XT thummies with some Dior DX brake levers. Going with kind of, these are Continental Grand Canyons, but they look very much like the, I can't remember, but uh, Continental has a newer tire that has the same tread pattern, but perfect for kind of just city riding, loose line riding and stuff. Of course, good angle of the box fork. Um, so yeah, this is where we are and once the crank set gets here, I'll, we'll get, I'll get that put on, we'll get her all cabled and be able to ride it. Uh, it is April 16th and it has snowed again in Minnesota, so it's okay that this isn't rideable because everything's gonna be a little wet and muddy for a few more days. Um, hope you liked this video. I am super excited about this bike. I've wanted one since 2019. I think it's the longest I've wanted a vintage mountain bike that it's taken me to find one in my size. So super amped about this project. Looking forward to getting it finished. Um, there's other projects on the back burner. Spring season has hit though now here at the shop, so it's really busy. Um, missed last week because of Easter and just the shop being busy, but hoping to get back on the every week, uh, every week, every Sunday, um, releasing a video. Hopefully we can start getting some riding content in. Um, but if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you're working on a vintage mountain bike project or a vintage road bike project, check out our store, Grinjinger Cycles at Grinjinger.com. We have over a thousand parts, new inventory is added weekly, um, free shipping in the continental United States. Uh, so yeah, we just love vintage bikes and we like helping people with their projects. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.